I know that a lot of people have questions about the ProPresenter 7 licensing structure. How many computers can I run it on? How can I transfer a license between computers? What is ProPresenter Plus? And when do I need to pay more money? And how do I avoid it? You know, the whole paying more money thing. Hi everyone, my name is Nathan from Crazy Amazing Designs. My goal is to help teams and individuals to do church and event production with excellence. In 2020, Renewed Vision changed everything with the release of ProPresenter 7. This was a massive leap forward for the company and it set them up to deliver us the best software for a very bright future. Before ProPresenter 7, a ton of features were locked behind a paywall. Those modules in ProPresenter 6 and before cost a ton of money and now those are all available free with ProPresenter 7 and a license. Regardless of license status, ProPresenter 7 can be installed on any computer or as many computers as you want it on. Only licensed computers will have the watermark removed, but any unregistered computers can be used to set up edit, and work on presentations. And when you're ready, ProPresenter 7 offers a two-week free trial from within the app. A license for ProPresenter 7 can be purchased from Renewed Vision's website. There are two options, the single user license and the campus license. The single user license is available for any church, business, school to purchase and run ProPresenter 7 on one single computer. Multiple license can be purchased under that same account to meet your needs, however many computers you need. Churches only have the option to purchase the campus license, which gives them 20, 10, 15, 20 seats. So main service, youth ministry, children's ministry, anywhere in the building. If your church has multiple campuses across the city, then you're gonna need multiple single seat licenses or multiple campus license, depending on how many computers you need at each location. This is a licensing thing, not an activation thing. The license is not geolocked. It is simply limited to 20 active per campus license. Yes, you could purchase one campus license and activate 20 seats across your organization, across your city. Renewed Vision has created an incredibly powerful software platform that we as churches should really not abuse the fact that they give us the campus license option at the price that they do. So here I have two computers with ProPresenter 7 installed. So let's take a look at moving the license from the first computer over to the second computer. Either you have a single seat or a campus license. Either way, ProPresenter 7 can be installed on any computer, on either Mac or PC. ProPresenter 7 does not require a license to use the software, as I said, only to remove the watermark on the output. The watermark is the ProPresenter 7 logo on the output screen. Licensed computers will have this removed. So if you have a computer that is unregistered, you can still use ProPresenter 7 to set up, edit, and work on presentations. I love to encourage volunteers to download ProPresenter to get more familiar with it. Watch my videos, set up songs, sermon notes. For this, it doesn't matter if the ProPresenter 7 logo is taking up some of the output window. So on crazyamazingdesigns.com, I have created a template that I'm selling in my store. This will get ProPresenter 7 on your computer literally set up in just a few seconds. This gives you pre-built looks, macros, themes, songs, and a few graphics. When I do in-person trainings, I often like to give this file to volunteers for free to help them to get started learning ProPresenter 7. So if I only have a single seat license installed on a MacBook Pro that we use at our church, I can use this computer on Sunday, then Sunday night take this computer to the other side of the building and use it for our youth group in their space. Then I take this uh, up the street to our weekly Tuesday night men's small group. And then on Wednesday night, the young adults use this computer in the church auditorium. And on Friday nights of this week, there is a community concert happening for the community that our church band is playing at. So. Then Sunday, we're gonna do all of this over again the following week. So this single user license can be used for all of this. In the same analogy, I can have several other people with ProPresenter 7 installed on their personal and work computers who are setting up songs, sermon notes, and other content, then exporting their playlists and adding them to this shared MacBook that has the church's ProPresenter 7 license on it. So this is their actual presentation computer. So if our church needs ProPresenter 7 to run slides in the youth space on Sunday morning, then we would need a second license. If the women's small group also happens on Tuesday at the same time as the men's, then the church would need a second license, or you might consider upgrading to the campus license. 
So now let's look at ProPresenter 7 Plus, which is something causing a lot of eyes to turn. ProPresenter 7 Plus is not ProPresenter moving to a subscription model. Pro 7 Plus is allowing Renewed Vision, the creators behind Pro 7, to move from a model of releasing new software updates every three to five years to users now receiving new updates multiple times per year. Almost to the point that major updates are now happening quarterly. You see, back in the day before ProPresenter 7, we got updates like ProPresenter 5, and then we finally got ProPresenter 6, which was game changing, but now we get updates almost quarterly. It's incredible. So when you purchase a license to ProPresenter 7, you're receiving the software in one year of ProPresenter 7. So this basically means one year of updates. And like I said, they released version 7.0 in 2020, and now three years later, we are on version 7.13. And it's really a completely different piece of software. I want us to understand the whole ProPresenter 7 Plus model. Let's say your church has a single seat license and you purchased it on January 1st. Then the following year, you're gonna be asked to renew the ProPresenter 7 Plus, which is what allows you to receive new updates and support throughout the year. This is important, not only for features, but computers and operating systems are constantly changing. If you ignore the updates, you can still use the software for as long as you'd like. This is important. Without paying the following year, you're not going to lose access to being able to use ProPresenter 7. You just won't receive any new updates, any new features, or any things that could cause ProPresenter to not break. I'm not going to show you the math and try and prove this, that this is a good idea, or that this is a good model. I make these videos because I believe in renewed vision. I believe that ProPresenter 7 is the best tool for the job, and I want to help you and your church understand ProPresenter and help you do production with excellence. So let's think of ProPresenter 7 as a maintenance contract. It costs $179 per year for a single seat, so $14.92 per month. Then for a campus license that originally cost $9.99, it has a renewal price of $4.49, so $37.42 per month for 20 seats. The license maintenance cost carries over year to year, so the original single seat license costs $3.99, the maintenance renewal costs $1.79 per year. So after two years and three months, the renewal price is now $4.03. So it's then cheaper to purchase a new license for $3.99. Now, I do not recommend pursuing this strategy of allowing ProPresenter 7 Plus to lapse completely and then pay $3.99 every 27 months. Doing this, you are gambling that hardware changes and operating system updates don't break ProPresenter. Plus, you lose access to regular new features and new updates designed to work hand in hand with the new operating systems and ever changing hardware. Licensing is not always the most entertaining thing to talk about, but it's great information to know. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel to see more videos and be sure to go to crazyamazingdesigns.com to download my ProPresenter 7 template. This is gonna get you set up in seconds on any new computer that you uh, wanna set up ProPresenter on. So until next time, bye guys. Thanks so much for watching.